Time now for some quick fire around the nation. Senate President Tito Soto said his colleagues are more supportive of religious and academic freedom, as well as women's rights, than they are of the SOGI bill. The statement comes after Soto said that the controversial measure may not hurdle the, the upper house because it may be prone to abuse. This is now an issue on women's rights because I feel that uh, um, a woman's body is a temple and to her, the toilet is sacred. It's where she has her weakest point. A number of government officials and media personalities visited the wake of former DENR Chief Gina Lopez, Vice President Lenny Robredo, Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tavivalo, former Congressman Satur Ocampo and Sonny Belmonte, CSC Commissioner Aline Lizada, and TV show host Willie Revillame paid their last respects to the philanthropist. Planned public viewing at the La Mesa Eco Park was earlier canceled because of rainy weather. Lopez's wake is open to the public until today, and her remains will be cremated on Sunday. And President Duterte has lifted the ban on STL operations, but with some conditions. Malacanang is now requiring a cash bond, equivalent to three months' worth of the PCSO's share in monthly receipts. That's on top of other existing cash bonds deposited to the government. If agents will not be able to remit monthly receipts in full and on time, then the government will forfeit the bonds. STL operators shall also provide in writing that they will comply with the agreement and will not file any injunction to prevent the government from exercising its rights and prerogatives. Take note that these will only take effect after the release of the Implementing Rules and Regulations, or IRR.